Welcome to Sinchiltras, Bienvenida in Sinchiltras. Uh, we are very happy. I mean, I'm alone today. Rijal, mm. our my friend and co-host, is in Jakarta. So I asked him to come, but <laughs> impossible. Uh, we are very welcome to welcome you, Rodrigo Carasso. You have such a colorful uh, lifetime. <laughs> so representative of Costa Rica at the UN in New York, ombudsman person and now members of the Human Rights Committee and, and, and we have a really big common point because mm. your dad and you also your family contribute to the establishment of UP. So, mm -hmm. so very happy to have you today. Well, perhaps uh, I was writing last night some notes for, for my memoirs and I was identifying myself as a family man. Yes. A family person. Mm -hmm. I mean, my, my grown-up uh, children and my grandchildren and my wife. I read 11, 11. 11. Is it true? Yes, yes. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. And so, family man, family person. And I, ha I, I, only, I had uh, four brothers and one sister. And that one sister is the University for Peace, <laughs> which was the creation of my father. In, and as a family, we all contributed mm -hmm. to his idea uh, and to uh, the realization of that university. He was elected president mm -hmm. of Costa Rica mm -hmm. uh, in 1978, February 1978, in, in a wave of uh, new approaches to politics, open approaches, mm -hmm. uh, no corruption, this type of thing, back uh, 45 years ago. Mm -hmm. And soon, good ideas came to his desk from one way, place from the other. The environmental uh, push was just the beginning, Costa Rica had, done, had already taken a place. Someone offered a, a Beautiful piece of land in Villa Colón, where you have been and yeah, studied. Yeah, my there. There. Yes. Hola to uh, a la familia. <laughs> la familia de allá. A, a beautiful piece of land for the preservation and for men, for humankind. Okay. At that time. And what? Well, take that, uh, the government of uh, Costa Rica said, we take that piece and we will propose the United Nations to create a university for peace. Mm -hmm. believing that uh, the world should learn how to disarm rather than how to contain armamentism. I mean, uh, learn how to live in peace, learn how to cooperate uh, with uh, one another, uh, and establish all types of uh, processes of learning. Give peace a chance. Mm -hmm. That was the basic purpose of that. And, well, the task was to bring that idea to the United Nations and have it approved and what so on, the, and that took, that what, took a lot of effort. Biggest, what was the biggest challenge? Time. Time. Time, because my father's uh, term was of, uh, four years, and he was uh, pushing uh -huh. all the time for many things. And one of his main purposes was to have this approved at the United Nations. And just imagine a crazy man that comes here and says, I want this. Yeah, in, uh, I have a land in Costa Rica, I want the university. Yes. But at this time also, do you think it was also to give the chance for the young generation also to have a voice? Because I know the University for Peace has an observer status also at the yes. assembly. Yes, we, we, I mean, the University for Peace is definitely within the system mm -hmm. of uh, the yeah. United Nations. It's uh, subject to a triannual report by the Secretary General is voted in the, in, is it in the fourth commission mm -hmm. uh, and it uh, is known. The only thing that the University for Peace has is that it does not, it, it does, it cannot expect funding yeah. from the United Nations. So that's another difficult, <laughs> that's very difficult task. Yes. yes. Nice. Yes. And uh, there was a question when I told the UPCR students that you were coming to this episode, they were very excited. And there was this common question, if um, UPIS has grown in the sense you expected it. Because after all these years, now there are so much master degrees, UPCR, I, I just came back from Costa Rica, Rijal also. 
So did you expect at this time the university to have such a... Well, as my little sister, at that time, we had great expectations. Yes. Not of a grandiose uh, building, mm. uh, so, <laughs> a, 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 a nice campus, an environmental campus, a protected uh, forest uh, where people could be in close, uh, close to nature, mm -hmm. uh, close to a small city in Costa Rica, a beautiful small city in Costa Rica, close to the people of uh, Costa Rica, that's perhaps most important. And well, it, we has struggled uh, with uh, time, with funds, mm -hmm. who is contributing to this program and the other program. The rectors have always been very busy getting funds uh, for the university and whatever has been uh, possible is uh, there. So it has stood for now 40, 40 two years uh, wow. of, uh, yeah, of success. Amazing. Yeah. COVID and not COVID. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. <laughs> and did you, I mean, did you celebrate well when the resolution has been approved? Yes, of course, yeah. of course. What was, was the feeling like, yeah, oof, it oh. passed. <laughs> no one could believe, I mean, no one from the outside could believe in two years we got it done. And you went through all the committee and you overcame all obstacles and, and so on. And it's incredible that a resolution of the General Assembly Mm -hmm. comes out after only two or three sessions, in, in this case 78, 79 and mm -hmm. 80. Uh, so it was incredible. With a and sense... thank you, because thanks of your family, of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just came back from Costa Rica and had a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting yeah. because it's such multicultural and as you say... Well, it has filled, uh, it felt, uh, it felt, it felt uh, very much my father's uh, life. He, he he died in 2009, that means uh, 29 years related to the university. He was a rector for the, f the first uh, few years, then he was president uh, of the board and always very attentive mm -hmm. to what was going on at the university. I myself was a professor of the first uh, master's uh, degree program back mm -hmm. in in 1990 and 91, uh, international relations, and always close to that. And as okay. ambassador at the UN, of course, in charge of maintaining that mm -hmm. linkage with the and university. And the, the right to education also. I was reading a report yesterday from the special event special reporter that there are still progress made, especially in Latin America, but still a lot of vulnerable communities such as the indigenous communities, African descent people, they are still lacking the access mm -hmm. uh, to right of education. Yes. Uh, was it something you discussed this week? I don't know if you are able to talk about with, uh, because you were examining, examining states and yes. the Human Rights Committee. Was it something uh, that could Of course, we touch, we, to touch, uh, we always uh, touch the right of education mm -hmm. and we ask states to do their best. Mm -hmm. uh, Limit, limits in uh, funding, of course, for the governments and for the states, but why not give it the most? Yes. I mean, uh, invest in education, invest in education, invest in education yes. should be the purpose, mm -hmm. not only of the poor countries, of the rich countries. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's, thank you a lot. Uh, Rizal is not here, but he sent you a short mm -hmm. question to be answered. Uh, let's see if it's uh, in here. It's on the what? Yes, he said. Yes, so. Yes. Ah, the song? Sorry. What's this? I'm not. What? Yeah. Sorry. He's nice. This son is, yeah, he's nice. You're <laughs> nice, Rijal. Hello, Mr. Carazo. It's really nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming to Sinfiltros. My name is Rijal Samka. I'm one of the co-hosts together with Kami. So we founded um, Sinfiltros to basically um, give platform for people to share their stories and voices. And so we founded this podcast during our um, university time together at the University for Peace. It was such a blast really studying at UP and also living to be able to live in um, Costa Rica. It's a really nice country. And Kami today is really kind enough to give me the opportunity 
uh, to ask you one question. So I got really excited when uh, Kami told me that you were coming to the podcast. So I have only one question to you um, with everything that has been happening in the world that makes us really down. Um, what could you suggest for us to do to actually restore our faith in humanity? Because I think that's really important um, because I think we've already seen that people have already started losing the trust um, in humanity. So how could we restore that? Thanks. Thank Maybe you. Bye. Well, goodbye. <laughs> and then thanks for the question. What to do? Pray for peace. Let's be as vibrant, as positively vibrant as as possible. Uh-huh. Let's join efforts. Let's let's uh, let's try to to open the eyes of uh, people. It is very difficult. It's uh, hard. It's we are ending yes. this session right. at the Committee of Human Rights. Uh, probably the only possibility that I will have is to call for a minute of silence yeah. uh, as we adjourn mm-hmm. because it says it's not in the agenda. It's not in the agenda that I That that is not uh, admissible. I mean, there's so many people dying, so many people it's suffering. Uh, and it is horrible. It is horrible in the theaters of uh, war, uh, in 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 the Middle East, in Europe, mm-hmm. or in many in other places. Way. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there, that should be the main task of of um, of, the, of humanity. Of humanity. Let me recall one sentence that uh, uh, my father uh, expressed. Yeah? Is it the sentence uh, in UPS? Si quieres la paz, trabaja para la paz. Oh, that is one of them, yes. Bueno, no. Si quieres la paz, trabaja para, para la, paz. la paz. And the other one is that uh, the 21st century, he said that in 1980, would be peaceful or it would not be. Mm-hmm. It was so dangerous yeah. at that time, nuclear armament and, and so on. So, si, si quieres la paz, trabaja para, para la, la paz. paz. Y seamos pacíficos y no armamentistas. Qué bueno. Muchísimas gracias bueno. por la generosidad para estar aquí conmigo. Con es gran muy gusto. bueno de hablar. Con y... gran gusto. Si uh, tienes algo a decir con los estudiantes de la UPAS, un mensaje. Vivamos una vida sin filtros. Vivamos una sí. vida Exactamente. Sin, es sin filtros. Se va, precisamente. <risa> <risa> eh, sin filtros. Seamos auténticos. Saquemos siempre lo mejor de nosotros. Vivamos en esa comunión, en esa interacción con la gente. Viva la gente. Uh-huh. Eh, viva la, los, humanidad. la humanidad. Muchísimas gracias. Bueno. bueno Uh, we will find new episodes, uh, special UN editions uh, with Rizal. We will find a way. Rizal, I miss you. I love you. And let's make more episodes. Thank you for watching. Adios. <laughs>